For this short hair fitting, I'm going to use three toupee clips, the back one horizontal facing downwards and the front two vertical. Make sure to have a look at the direction of the hair as to which way round your clips want to be. Here we don't have a parting to worry about, so we can just put the mic in the centre of the forehead. Our wonderful model also has a bit of a fringe which works in our favour as we can get the mic position a bit lower whilst it's still being hidden. I'm going to open the clip, push the teeth of the clip into the hair as close to the scalp as possible and then use my thumbs to push down on the edges and my four fingers to push up in the centre of the clip. If you don't use your fingers to push against and instead push against the performer's head, this won't be comfortable for them. I like to give the clip a gentle wiggle to make sure it's secure. I'm going to put the second clip towards the back of the top of the head. In the case of curly hair, it's particularly important to go with the curls of the hair. Don't try to part them and don't try to comb them as the hair will frizz and your performer will not be happy. I'm going to put the second clip off centre for two reasons. One is because you want to avoid the crown area of the hair as this is typically thinner and therefore harder to hide the mic and it's also more sensitive for the performer. The other reason is so that the mic cable comes down to the neck at a diagonal. Here I'm just pushing that clip into the hair as before on the side of the direction of the hair. Since the mic cable is coming down at a diagonal, this will be a lot easier to cover with hair. If you were to have the mic coming down straight, the hair wouldn't want to cover it. With the last clip, fit it as far down as you can manage before the hair gets too short. This is a horizontal twist clip, so I'm going to part the hair horizontally, using my fingers to keep the hair out of the way, whilst I push the clip's teeth into the hair. I would make a mark on the mic where the hair finishes so that I can paint it to match the colour of the hair. I would offer a piece of tape for the neck and that's done, you can hardly see the mic at all. Here's another example of a short hair fitting. Their hair is parted on the right and is falling towards the left, so I'm going to make sure to put the clips in the left side of the part that I make. I'm fitting the front clip, same as before, with the clip fitted as close to the scalp and as close to the hairline as possible. Then I'm putting the second clip towards the back of the top of the head, slightly off centre. For the last clip, same as before, I'm going to part the hair horizontally using my finger to hold the part whilst I slide the clip's teeth into the hair, stopping when the top of the clip is level with the part line. I'm using the comb to pick up pieces of hair and comb them over the mic to hide it nicely. I'm going to show you here a sideburn parting. You might use this if a performer has plenty of hair around the sides of their head but is thinning on top or if the performer is wearing hats. I'm fitting the clips in the same way as before, parting the hair and sliding the teeth in before pushing the clip shut. Try to slide the teeth as closely to the scalp as possible, that way you'll pick up the most hair and it'll be the most secure and the most comfortable. I'm fitting the second clip 
at the same level as the front one so the mic head doesn't get pulled up or down. Then a horizontally attached twist clip close to the base of the neck in the centre. Flip the hair over the mic with the tail comb. You can see that despite being a brown mic in pink hair, it's fairly well hidden. <laughs>